Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Seven days, five concerts, four projects, all at the same time. The new season has begun, concert halls are open again and all of my projects are starting again all at once. So I thought I'd take you along with me this very busy week as I alternate between the Royal Wind Music, a Renaissance consort of 11 people whilst we prepare for a concert in Lithuania. Jaboa, my band where we have two gigs this week. While We Live, a live documentary concert about millennial loneliness and the Svelink experience, starting rehearsals for a new music theatre production for kids. Will I manage it? Will I remember all 35 pieces of music that I need to perform? Who knows? Let's see. Day one. <laughs> Seven hours of rehearsal, yeah. and we're taking the instruments back. <laughs> well, hey, so this is where the instruments are stored. We're going to put them away. Day two, tonight I have a gig with Jaboa, which is my band. Um, we write all of our own songs, there's a lot of um, improvisation involved and I'm playing the recorder but mainly I'm singing. We have to be there at four to set up and sound check and then we play at nine. So I'm spending today just warming up, practicing my songs, answering emails, having a bit of a chilled out day. This is actually going to be the most chilled day of the whole week. So I'm going to try and cram in all my relaxation while I can. Um, the other thing I'm going to do today is consolidate my rehearsal notes from yesterday. So everything we went over in the rehearsal, I'm just going to not necessarily play, but kind of think it through so it sinks into my brain a little bit for tomorrow. Uh, Monday, Renaissance Consort. Tuesday, gig with my band. Wednesday, Renaissance Consort. <laughs> Banjaboa in the New Anita in Amsterdam West which is was my absolute favorite place in the city when I first moved here so we're talking like 2007 to 10 so many good memories in this place I have one main resolution for tonight and that is to try and keep my eyes open when I'm playing I've noticed that I've got a tendency to close my eyes especially when I'm singing or when I'm improvising Maybe it's something to do with feeling vulnerable on the stage because I don't do it so much when I'm playing classical repertoire. There's nothing wrong with closing your eyes while you're playing, but I'd like to be able to, I'd be able to keep them open if I want. So that's my challenge tonight. Keep my eyes open, find somewhere to look, make connections with the audience, have a good time. <laughs>
morning. Uh, day three, Royal Wind, another full day rehearsal. The challenge will be eight hours of Renaissance music on a contrabass recorder from memory whilst having gotten home very late from last night's gig. Uh, so last night's gig was amazing. I loved it. I just want to do this every day, all day for the rest of my life. Um, as you can hear, my voice is a bit gone. I went for like a shouty bit in one of the songs and I evidently have to learn how to do that without this happening to my voice. In the end I got home around 1 and then Bodil woke us all up at 6. <laughs> the good thing about having a toddler is I'm completely used to functioning on little to no sleep so I actually feel completely fine. I was driving last night so I wasn't drinking so that's probably why I feel fine. <laughs> What are you playing for right now? Big Babe. Um, what is Big Babe? Big Babe is a re recorder in B flat and low B flat in the octave of a second contra. No, a double bass. Double bass? Double bass instrument. One more time. Hi, day four. I'm sat on the floor surrounded by bags. Um, today I'm off to Rotterdam to play three shows over the next two days at the Opera Festival. I went to bed at nine last night and slept for nine hours, so I feel brilliant. Let's see what I'm taking with me. Instruments are all in here, clothes are all in here, and this is more instruments and cables and stuff. Woo! Oh, my setup we've built up now I always try and make it as simple as possible but today no it's ridiculously complicated what am I talking about recorders speaking mic music vocal mic my own mixing board loop station video monitor recorders pet sold second music stand yeah what are you doing now Evie I don't know I'm a bit like I feel like I should be doing a lot of things yeah but I'm doing nothing so I'm like, should I embrace this feeling? Embrace the nothingness. Say hi, Simon. This is Simon, our sound technician. He's also John's best friend. And you've been best friends for like 15 years. Yeah, I think so. dressing room we have set up sound check rehearsed and in an hour and a half we're gonna play so we're gonna have a break first normally when I have a theatrical show we arrive around two hours before um, but because this is such a new production we're actually arriving six hours before to give enough time to properly rehearse oh yeah sorry I'm meant to be rehearsing now sorry Bye. good morning Rotterdam we stayed in a hotel last night which uh, as the parent of a toddler felt pretty amazing. I was so excited about staying in this hotel. I brought my workout clothes. I brought my book. I was going to write a bunch of emails. Have I done any of that? No. So in a minute I've got to check out then we're going to play twice more at the O Festival. Ah, Luke, sorry. Where's Luke? Where? How? <laughs> After one and a half years of Zoom, this is still not happening. <laughs> This morning we're having business meetings on Zoom with Luke, who we'll be working with next year. 
Hi. Ooh. Look at leg. Let's sound check. <laughs> the first performance already and it was really good oh such a nice feeling and I think there was a woman crying at one point which was like oh. and then we play again at nine o'clock tonight so uh, half an hour until the 9 p.m. show we all let too much dinner and now none of our trousers fit this is the glamorous part of tour life they don't tell you about you finish playing, everyone claps, and then you've got to spend hours packing everything up and then drive all the way home through the night. Day six. Got home at 1.45. Well, now I have another rehearsal. Oh, I feel okay. I look very tired. I feel okay. It's a new thing today. I'm making a new, oh God, I'm so, my brain is so slow. Today is a kids music theatre production about the life of the composer Svelink. We're bringing him back to life with a microtonal zombie organ or something like that. Let's go. <laughs> this is Felipe and Marco. The aim of this show is to teach kids about sailing, about polyphony. Today we're trying on clothes, we're reading through the script for the first time, getting some ideas for music, and gonna do some improvisations. Oh yeah, and this is the only thing I'm doing all week in Dutch. So my brain is breaking a bit because it's basic. These need to be all fixed, my. This is failing. Ik dacht wel dus aan dus zonnebrillen als um, misschien dus de veiligheidsbrillen. My trousers come up to here. Day seven. In all honesty, I don't know what planet I'm on anymore. Today we have a gig with Jaboa in Utrecht. We're going to be playing at a festival for improvised music called Bell. Um, do you want to see my sock shoe combination? Socks and sandals. Except I've realised we're going to be playing in a possibly muddy field. So probably shouldn't wear sandals. How do I feel? Tired. But good. But tired. This has been a week. <laughs> here in Utrecht at Fort Lunette, which is an old war bunker. Marcos the drummer, Dodo our bassist, Guillermo our guitarist, and me. It's raining a bit but apparently that's gonna stop by the time we play. <laughs> Day 
seven, the week is done, I'm home. <laughs> I feel a lot less tired than I thought I would. When I was planning this week, I looked at my diary and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. And I actually have way more energy than I thought I would, but that's definitely because <laughs> this is the first week like this in, you know, since pre-pandemic. Maybe it's because of the joy and the relief at finally being able to actually work again. After a year and a half of not being able to do my job, rehearse, perform, it just feels so amazing to be able to do this again. And I think that's something that's given me a lot of energy this past week. It's been a full on week, a lot of hours, but it's all stuff I love and I'll never not be grateful to get to do this work. Also, I realized everything this week has been playing related, rehearsing and performing. So in a normal week, I'll be doing these kind of things, but I'll also be teaching and researching and filming and editing videos and spending hours writing emails and organizing things. And this has been quite a luxury week to be able to just play. That actually never happens. But I have realized that there's a big difference in playing and rehearsing something that you know really well or existing music and creating something new. The Royal Wind, Jaboa and While We Live, that's all existing music. I've just got to make sure that I know it and I can play it well. But the Music Theatre Project with my colleague Felipe, that's something completely new. When we're working, we're actually composing. And that is something that is exhausting in a really different way. So yeah, luckily I could keep this week on the right side of being busy and fun rather than being busy and I'm going to die. I just knew that I would forget to film a proper outro for this video, so I'm doing one now, just in case. Uh, as always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. Here's the Team Recorder Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you to all my dear patrons, and here's another video. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye!